Welcome back. It's all about soups and stews and that, you know, this is the time of year when it gets cold outside, you just are craving all things warm and comfy and cozy. Angie's here from the Wisconsin Beef Council, and uh, I have to be honest, I love pot roast, but I never thought of doing a pot <laughs> roast soup, but I like it, you I know? It's better. Yeah. Pot roast is the ultimate comfort food. It is. And I love using my slow cooker because it makes the house smell so nice. I like walking in from work and just knowing all day I have dinner completely taken care of. I know. And I isn't it so stressful? It is. It is. It, and it makes you like all day, you got a little smile on. No yeah. matter what happens, yeah. a little like, spring in yeah. my step. Yeah. I got yeah. supper done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, seriously, get into the habit of using your slow cooker. In fact, um, slow cookers are just on trend right now, mm -hmm. big time. I, I keep getting calls from national media and, and magazines and, and newspapers asking me to do articles for them on slow, slow cookers. cookers and I'm like well I've been doing it for years it's like you know whatever <laughs> it's nothing but, new <laughs> exactly um, but they are back big time because families are so so busy trying to get dinner on the table so if you don't have one uh, pick one up or start using yours uh, Angie and I were just talking they've come down in price so much mm -hmm. they're $20 in that $20 range mm -hmm. I mean so you know it's really affordable and once you start using it you'll start saving so much money yes you know because fast food is not cheap anymore no it's it's crazy expensive so uh, seriously get into the hang of it this is the perfect cut of meat to do in a slow cooker tell us about yes it. we just have a nice basic beef chuck roast so um, if you're in the supermarket uh, you know anything labeled chuck roast arm roast shoulder roast english roast pot roast pretty much all the same cut they need that long slow low moist cooking so that's their perfect cuts for the slow cooker and there are more economical cuts yep, they're cheap. for that reason yep, we love exactly them cheap. the other thing is, is it doesn't look like we need a ton of chuck roast for this because when i do a pot roast i like to do a nice big one so there's leftovers but this recipe being it's a soup we don't need a huge one right, right? it calls for two to two and a half pound okay and like like you said when i do the slow cooker and i'm doing just a chuck roast i like to get a four pounder because yeah, yeah. i like leftovers right so it calls for a two to two and a half pounder this is about two and a half pounds okay. a little bit more okay um and if you want it real lean, you know, take your time and trim off the excess fat. Okay. I always leave some because I like the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. And my family loves the flavor of beef chuck roast. Mm -hmm. So I leave a little bit of the fat in there because that's what gives it the flavor and the juiciness. So cut it up into like pretty decent sized chunks. Yeah, it, the recipe says 12 larger chunks. Okay. So, and while you're doing that, I'm going to just throw them in. The throw them cooker? in. I'm going to okay. chop onion. This recipe calls for quite a bit of onion, two cups of onion. Uh, we don't need to brown the beef for this recipe, we just kind of throw it in? We do not need to. Now, a lot of our recipes at the Beef Council do not call for that extra step, but if you have the time, the luxury of having the time in the morning, mm -hmm. if when you're filling your slow cooker, if you want to brown it, definitely do, because that, I think, adds a lot to your beef. I get it. Sometimes we have days where we do have it. Sometimes there's like that's not even going to happen. You're still going to get a great tasting dish, but like you, Angie said, it takes it to the you know next level. And I would just be a little oil on the skillet um, and just a quick brown on on all sides. And uh, it's, it just takes a few minutes, but it does really increase the flavor. You don't have to cook it all the way through or anything. We're just you know a couple minutes. A couple minutes. Nice hot skillet with some oil and. And you can also have the butcher do this for you if you don't want to be doing it yourself. Definitely. And you know what? I This recipe, I've never made it with stew meat from the store, but that would be perfectly fine. I was thinking that, you know, that would save a step. Stew meat usually is your round, a round roast or a rump roast. It's very, very lean. When You know, you look at it in the store and there's no fat on it at all. They do a great job trimming it. And so that's cut up and made for the slow cooker also. But that needs that low, slow cooking too. So be perfect for this. So in goes two onions, so quite yeah, a bit of onion. Yeah, and I, I kind of coarsely chopped them. They're not too small, but not too large. Let me throw those in. And then we're going to add just a can of stewed tomatoes. And I bought some with a little extra flavor with some green pepper and onion. Why not, huh? It's kind of an easy way to get some extra flavor in there. So we'll add that. With the juice and all, just throw with it in the there. With juice and all. Okay. One cup of beef broth. Frozen southern style hash browns. Love like those. Cube. Yep. Yeah, I always have those in my freezer. Mm -hmm. About a cup. Now, you, could you also cut up some potato if you don't have those? I would just, think so. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Some thyme, just dried thyme, about a teaspoon. Okay. About a tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay. And then some salt and pepper. You bet. 
and that is it. Set it, so um, on low, nine, 10 hours. On high, five to six. Put the lid on, don't be peeking throughout the day. That's the key to the slow cooker. Leave the lid on, let it do its work. And that's true. Um, some of the, one of the tips, I love to use those slow cooker liners. We didn't have one today, but that helps with the cleanup. But one of my other tips, as Angie said, is when it comes to doing slow cooking recipes, every time you, you know, peek, pick the lid off, you loses heat and then you got another 20 minutes or, or more of, of cooking time. So um, you at this point, lid on, head out the door, do your thing, come home after a long day. When you come home, it, two cups of a broccoli slaw just purchased from the produce department. Okay. So add that in for some vegetables and then some frozen peas. Wow. So, so we've got those lots in right of vegetables in there. Yeah. Let me see this. Looks so does really the meat good. get really kind of nice and tender? Yeah, it does. Oh, it smells delicious. And we got big pieces of beef, so it's is kind of like a pot roast. Mm -hmm. You got the potatoes in there, the peas, the tomatoes. I think my hubby would be all about this. Needs a nice big loaf of bread for yeah. some dipping nice and, and dunking. Very good and very affordable and this is another healthy one with mm -hmm. the, the broccoli slaw in there. I mean, this is. is loaded with vegetables. Leftovers would be great to take to work for a lunch, which is really nice. Yeah, this recipe has eight grams of fat per serving, two grams of saturated fat, and a less than 300 calories. So, so you this know, is actually a little bit healthier than the Asian garlic ginger uh, used in the Czech roast. I, you know what? I love that. And, and uh, so beef, you know, people think, oh, I got to eat all, you know, chicken and all fish. Beef really can be lean. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, you know, especially when it's cold out, mm -hmm. I want that craving kind of comfort food that'll, you know. Yeah, and my family yeah. will eat this. They yeah. won't be like, what are you feeding us? Yeah. This looks way too healthy. Totally agree. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that all the way. Okay, a couple of ways to get the recipe. As Angie mentioned, uh, they are now sending the recipes from the Beef Council out to you monthly. All you have to do is get on their list. And the way to do that is call the number 1-800-728-2333. And repeat that one more time. 1-800-728-2333. Or if you're a computer into the whole mm -hmm. thing, just go to our website, fox11online.com, click on the Living tab, and recipes, and they'll be right there. And if you sign up for our newsletter, we'll send you out our recipes every single day. Angie, thank you so You're much. Welcome. I thank can you. hardly wait to make both these soup recipes, the Asian beef soup with those Chinese stir-fry vegetables and ginger and garlic and strips of uh, sirloin steak and then that slow cooker pot roast soup with potatoes and broccoli slaw and peas. Ooh, both of them look absolutely delicious. We'll be right back. Stay with us.